What's up my dudes, Jesse Mails here, backwater fly fishing. Today's a super cool episode because today I'm going to show you the ins and outs of this fly tying desk behind me. And the really cool thing is this desk was a gift from my dad. He built it by hand. And I'm just going to show you guys um, real quick all the ins and outs of this desk. And I was going to clean it. I was like, dude, we got to clean it, make it real nice. But I decided just to leave it a mess. I was in the middle of tying some flies. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to show these dudes this, this desk. So let's check it out. And I don't know. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So right off the bat, this is the main fly tying area. I have a hairline mat down just to protect the wood from glue, stuff like that. And it's a super nice open platform. Over here on the left where we'll start... We have all these cubbies that have pretty much filled up with junk, um, which is pretty much what I do. I got some flies here that I'll fish in the future at some point. Um, some magazines, external hard drive, a uh, bunch of random stuff, thread, some random hooks that I'm a mess with, um, a fly. Um, man, same stuff down here. Um, some glue, I think, in there. In this little setup, I got my stick on eyes that are used, bead chain eyes, weighted eyes, bunch of random legs, and dubbing legs, stuff like that in here too. Um, this is all just a mess from what I've been doing. Uh, up here, I usually keep my fly reels up here, but I have been fishing, so they're not up there. And then I just have some flies that I've tied that are actually going to go in my own box. Um, some loon stuff, some UV lights, some glitter. Here, I don't know if I've ever actually had anything good here. I've now just used it again as a place to throw stuff. Um, in here, we got a bunch of, let's see, cone heads, glass beads, um, stuff like that, more glass beads some random legs, a bunch of these super sweet fish heads, some spawn fly fish in there. What's cool is this light, uh, this actually controls the light for the, for the desk. And then we got some outlets and a USB charger station right there. Got a ton of crystal flash, ton of markers, sweet built-in mirror, and some more random products over here. This is shrimp and cray tails. Stick on eyes, some thread, some random hook packages that I've been using. And this is usually where I keep my mono that I use for weed guards. Some more glitter over here. Jeez, more junk, fly lines, flies, fly lines, backings, leaders. Jeez, it's a mess now that I'm just, maybe I should have cleaned this up. I don't know. Fly boxes, leaders, random flies, thread, glue. It's just stupid. Up here, um, there's plenty of storage space in here that's pretty much filled up with junk, too. This is where I keep all my reels uh, when I'm not using them. Oh man. Garbage. And, oh, documents, stuff for the business. Super neatly organized filing cabinet. All right, so that's the desk in itself. And then these drawers are super cool, super well thought out. Uh, we'll start with this side. What's cool is they can be pulled out like this on each side from the top. And this is a super thin drawer, as you can see. Gets pulled out, and this actually opens up. I just have a ton, a ton of thread in there. And this is a great workstation to have on each side. So it essentially just expands the desk. This side opens up too. And a bunch of random stuff in here. Shimmer fringe, emu feathers, more thread, flash. Really is a mess right there. I'm surprised I'm showing you that. Over here. Sort of like a random drawer. Um, I got some deer hair in there, um, some elk hair, and I was experimenting with these foam balls from Machaca, but they just get eaten, so that doesn't work. Uh, this next drawer here, 
all my plastic bags for packing up flies, things like that. Some more wooden balls for making chilamate flies for the machacas. And then down below, we have this big drawer which is filled with a ton of stuff. We got a bunch of hackles, legs, foam. Uh, this is sculpting wool. A bunch more fell out down there. We got fly foam of all different colors and sizes. Dubbing. Jeez. Yep, it's all in there. Over here, we got bucktails, ostrich feathers. This other drawer, same deal, just a ton of bucktails in there. Pretty wild. Super well organized, as you can see. In here, I have some random camera equipment and stuff that doesn't get used too often. And obviously, most of my materials are kept on the wall over here. Um, pretty much all of them. I got a nice shelf here too um, with a bunch of hats up top, fish pond bag, more hats, backwater hats, boat hats, fish pond, you name it. This is another just shelf that has become a stupid nasty storage area. Um, but yeah, most of the materials are on the wall right there on the pegboard. We got some more bins with bunch of stuff in there just terrible terribly organized over here in this shelf this is actually pretty organized I guess you could say um, these are all the open packs of EP brush so I don't like to pull from the wall new packs every time I need to tie a fly so I keep these randoms uh, so if I need to come in and grab a certain brush I know it's in here if I've used it uh, it's somewhere in there. I got some calf tails. Same thing over here, EP products. Um, this next drawer, more EP. This is more EP fibers than brushes. And over here, I have a bunch of stuff for bonefish flies, some rabbit, um, all types of chenille, lead eyes, just tons of lead eyes. Um, Dubbing from spawn fly fish. This stuff is sick. That right there. That semi seal. Ooh, buddy. Diamond braid. Hooks. Ribbing. All kinds of stuff. Furry foam. Down below. Really just a big drawer full of chenille. And then these are filled with junk that we're not even going to get into today. Um, but that's pretty much the desk, you guys, and sort of my fly tying room slash setup. Uh, super, super stoked to have this thing and to be able to work sort of on such a nice platform. All right, there you go, guys. As you can see, this desk is well thought out, super, super cool. And if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comment section below. Shoot me a DM, shoot me an email. Let me know what you guys think about it. Obviously, I'm super blessed, super fortunate to have a desk like this, especially with all the moving that I've done here in Costa Rica. Finally settled down in this spot, and this desk uh, has just been a pleasure to have, and I'm super, super thankful. So shout out to my dad for taking the time to build this thing. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you dig it, hit me up on Patreon at Backwater Fly Fishing and become a member there to support this channel and everything else going on with backwater fly fishing. Thank you guys so much. Catch you guys later. Deuces.